Yeah. Good day everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we want to learn on how to convert or transform orthographic projection into isometric projection. Now this is what we have. And normally this is the elevation, this is the plan and this is the envy. And you may be wondering where did this come from? You know? Let me assemble this so I'll give you a better explanation on how we go about this, right? So let's see how do it just close to this place. So take my C square. I'm going to draw an horizontal line this way. Right? Then I'll take it up. And I'll do here this way also. So when you're in the word isometric, the first thing you have to do to draw this inclined axis. Now the height given is 96. I mean it is um 68. So I'm going to take 68, measure 68 on my meter rule. Now I'm using twice half of the distances. So instead of meter 68, I'm going to take 34. Because it is too large, so I don't want to just so I'll take 34 here, it's 34. Right, so I'll place it here. Meter to four. Now the width is forty-eight, so I'm going to take twenty-four half of it. Right, so I'll place the width. The width is here. Then the length, given as ninety-six, and I'm going to take forty-eight. Now place it here. No mark. So I'll complete yet figure here. So with the help of my C square and C square, I'll put these lines upward this way. I'll put it here upward also this way. And I'll place it up. Up. Close it up. Now this is the entire figure. Now this is the elevation. The elevation is placed at this side here. I'm going to start drawing. So if you look at this from the diagram here, from here to here, which is from here to here, is given as what as twelve. So I'm going to measure 12. So I'll use half of it, which will be 6. So this will be 6. So I'll measure 6. This is 6 here. So I'll come here also. I'll measure the same 6 here too. So this is 6 here. So I'll just stick in it to this point. I'll come here also. Finish with this point, right? Now, if you look at it, the height here is given as 18, so I'll use half of it, which is um, 9. So I'm just using half of the distances that I have, half of dimension, ratio of um, 1 to 2, so that we're able to enter into this place. This is 9, right? So the 9, I'm going to thicken it also from here to here, thicken the 9. I see that so if I measure 9 here also I'll do the same thing this is 9 here so I'll take it to this point so what I would do is you notice it the entire line is connected so I'm going to connect it from this point to this point you can see that now the height from here to here is measured look at it and that is what 6 so I use Half of six, which is three. So I just to take my C square and my T square to draw the height there. So I measure three. I come here also draw the height here. I measure three. So I measure the three there. So I'm measuring the three at this point. 
this point is 0, 1, 2, 3, to this point here. Then another second is going to connect it straight to the other guy here. The upper line. Can I see that? And then we connect here to. So if you look at it, she's going in. That is why you are seeing a hidden line here. This line, you are seeing a hidden line because there's a true in. So show you the true in from here. So I put it this way. So there's a true in. Now this side now is going to be closing up because it's sticking from here. You can see that the straight line. So from the so that is the end view. So the end view is what we have here. So since it's a ticking line here, I'm going to take in here. Can you see that? And I'll close it up this way. And I'll close it up this way. Again, this line too. Here also is closed. This is the base here, which is this base here. I'll close it up. Now, I'll just move this this way, and then move this this way too. Faint line first, of course, we are not certain, but we are actually going to. Now, I said we will get half of the figure, half of this figure, which is given to be half of 96, and that will be 48, right? So. But here is 48, so we use what 24. Half of it will be what 24. So I am going to measure the 24 from here. So from here to here is so I use half of it, which is 24. This time I'm 24 here. Now I'm going to connect them straight this way with the help of my C square and T square. Right, so in doing that, the next thing is I need to get half of these two. So we know from here to here is 24, right? Or is half of it. Now, the half of 24 is um, 12. So I'm going to measure 12. If you look here, this point here, this from here to here is 24, you can see. From here to here is 24. That was I need 12 there. So this is 10, 11, this is 12 here. Right? So I'm going to connect it together. So now this is where they all meet. Right? Now we are given that the isometric circle here, the diameter here, is the radius is 24. I'm going to measure 24. On my meter rule, this way, this is 24 here, this is 10, 24. So half of 24 is 12. So I'm always doing half of anything I have. So I'll place it at this point. And I'm going to mark this left side, this left side, and this uh, right side. You can see that? So now it's to the end in there. Also to the end in here. You can see that. Now I'm going to project this point up to touch this line. I'll project this one up to to touch this line. Is that taking? So now what I will do is I'll project the center line too to touch that line. So I've done that. Now the height of this from here to here is given as uh, let's see, let's measure it and see. Or you can have, you just have to stress yourself. Just draw the diagonal. Then diagonal, you get the center. So from here to here, the diagonal, right? So where the diagonal meets with this vertical line, that is where the center of the line will be. Is that taken? 
there's another way of getting the center of the line so i'll draw this this way pass to the center so what i want to actually draw here is a semicircle is what a semicircle which is this semicircle here so that will be to be semi elliptical so when we do that let's see i will take a line from here to touch here i'll take another one that's the principle of ice iso circle that's what i'm using here so this is where they meet so you can usually take your compass you place it at this point take it here and you connect you can see that connect from here to here go do that then I'll come here also at this point. I'll connect this to the base. I'll connect to this point. To here. Let's do that. You can see that. So I can easily just connect this just to this point here. Just to this point here. Line. I have my reason. I will tell you why. So, I'll just join this to this point, and I'll join this to this point. I've already done this part here. Now the next thing is it is extended. If you look at this my plan here, this two, this point and this point is this point and this point. So we need to draw the other end, which is here and here and here and here. So I'll just simply do. I just easily connect this straight to this point in a straight line. So I'll just connect it to this point. You can see that. Now I'll connect this. Let me use my C square to make it more easier for me to do. So I'll just move this from here to this end. Then I'll move this from here to this end. Everything I did here, I'll do there to the center here. So connect you and you draw a diagonal that will join this to this just like I did in the previous one. But I can also replicate what I did. Now in doing that I can draw this too. This is where it's missing. I don't want lines to be too much. So it's meeting here. So I'll bring this downward. So from here, passing through the center here will be my point here. So what I actually want is to draw that my curve. So what I will do here is if I trace this point, this point here to this point, this is the center. Because this diagonal line is the same thing, so I'll trace it instead of just drawing it. I'll come here so I'll also trace it. So we've done that. So I will now draw my circle. So what I have to do is a semicircle, we'll place it at this point here, and we'll draw this way. Can you see that? Then I'll come here, I'll connect this to the other point too, and I'll draw. So this will be connected from here to here. And this will just be connected from here to here, right? So the other circle is placed here, and just connect the same circle. It has a radius of um, you have a radius of uh, 12, and we have 6 6, so you measure a 6. But since it's too small, I will just use my French curve for that. So I'll take a smaller French curve, the smallest of all, which is 12. This is the 12 here, radius of 12. So I'll place it here. Make sure that it is well placed like this on that diagonal line. Then I'll just have this. You can see that? So I will complete this 
mine here close it up and um, I'll close it up you can see that so this is the entire figure that we have here this is what is this so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching